three, two, one, boom. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. And we are back with another episode of Scratty Gamers. This is uh, sponsored by Zenreal Clothing Co. Check out um, Zenreal Radio, zenrealclothingco.com. Click that bad boy, free playlists, no need to pick stuff up. But if you do pick stuff up, use uh, offer code SGPODCAST for 20% off select items. Okay, so this is a uh, Netflix review. We're going to talk about Tiger King. Tiger King. But just like all reviews, we're going to say whether we should watch it or not, talk about it, and see if uh, see if that sways our opinion of whether or not we should watch it. So you go first, Fish. What do you think? Is, uh, it a, is it a watch or a pass? Uh, I'll say watch. Mm, I'm gonna go pass. Mm-hmm. It it was good. I felt that by the end of it though. But it wasn't right. Like, I I agree with you here. I was kind of like, it was good, but I don't know. There's something like, okay, let's just get into it. All right. So what what do you like first of all? Uh, no, it's just like a weird world it's weird right (laughs) totally totally and that's why i'm like "Ah, it's a pass it's sort of like like with wild wild country it was like oh that's that's crazy you know like i want to learn about this because like the implications can be dire later on but this is just weird people you know what i mean yeah yeah, but uh, i was like i'm meaning in like in the world of this tiger or I mean, these big cats owning big cats. Like it's just a weird, weird scenario, kid. right? Yeah, yeah. Like so, I, I'm, see- I'm I'm always reminded by Joe Rogan's joke um, in his special when he's like, "There are more tigers in the wilds of Africa than there are." I mean, no, there are more tigers in people's backyards in Texas than there are yeah. in the wilds of Africa. And I was yeah. like, "What?" And then like, well, not in Africa though. Or whatever, isn't it? They're not in the wilds of Africa? Where, where are they, like India or something? No. In the world, whatever. Yeah. They're yeah. In the wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So wild. so it's crazy because it's like you watch that and you're like, are you serious right now? Like people have like, well, no fear. The the first Who's the first person you think of when you, you think of like a tiger owner? Is, uh, is, is it Mike Tyson? Because that's yeah, what I yeah. thought. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I knew Mike Tyson had a tiger, and we're all like, oh, he's a weirdo, right, for having a tiger. tiger. Um, yeah. But then watching this, it's like, oh, no, it's like a normal thing. Like, people have tigers. Well, I mean, yeah, the, it makes it look normal, but it's, it's still not normal. But it's not normal, right? And it's just like, <laughs> how did they get away with this? It's so odd. And, like, it, it's funny because, like, all right, so we're in Canada, and we, we forget that, like, the laws are different. Even with, like, the gun thing. You know, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, I thought yeah, that yeah. was kind of weird. Like you have guns all the time; they're just shooting stuff. And like, if if we did that here, it would be so like bad, you know. But over there, it's like, oh, they're just shooting like items with their guns. They're just doing target practice, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the the gun thing. It's very much like a south, like Southern America, I guess. It's kind of like that kind of mentality. Right, like or, let me keep my guns, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very conservative. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind about the gun stuff. I thought that's, I mean, that's that's America in a stereotypical way. But yeah, that's, that's just America. <laughs> but it like really throws you off. Like you're like, what am I watching right now? Like, like almost it it all it was almost like watching that was like, oh, that's why Trump's president. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like we we often forget that there are different like cities are pretty liberal, like New York and like L.A. and stuff. But like watching that it was like oh no that is the heart the heartland of america you know no but i mean like yeah but these are specific people i wouldn't say it's all of america like that but these it, are... it, it's like that just, no, but just the fact that, that they like, have millions of followers no 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 i know that but they're not doing it like this is the story that we're getting now right like uh, like of of them i don't know if those millions of followers are following because of them or it's a bit of them or their character, but it's also like the cats. It's 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 what they're selling, right? No, totally, totally, totally. But it's like if we think that this is normal, that's weird, you know? Yeah. Like like the guy singing those like country songs about the cats. <laughs> I thought that was so odd. I was like confused. 
No, but, but that's what I'm saying. So that you got to remember about these sort of things is uh, these sort of shows. Like one thing to remember about shows, it's meant to be sensational. Uh, inter- yeah. Okay. And true. it's meant to be entertainment, right? You, they're putting on things that they know will be entertaining for people to watch. Right, right, right. I see what you're saying. So it's like 90% of that is just boring time. And then they're just showing us the 10%. Yeah. But I mean, they, there are these kinds of characters that exist, but it's like, but also what they're putting on camera for us to see is the thing that will be entertaining, right? Actually, you know, that's so true because I was thinking about like UFC fighters and I like, I, I watched like a lot of Joe Rogan and like um, mm-hmm. him and Eddie Bravo, like they're training fighters and stuff. Well, Eddie Bravo is. And he was saying that like the things you see on the highlight reel, like the, um, like the workouts. Yeah. Um, during, like, you know, when we were, we went to go see the thing and then it shows them like, um, like the they engage behind the scenes and yeah. they're doing these crazy workouts. They're like, that yeah. is a very tiny part of their actual workout process. They don't actually train like that all the time. Yeah. Cause, no. Cause if they did, their body would be broken. So it's like, yeah, you're showing us the part that's very inspirational. It's like, Oh, look at them doing the battle ropes and like, Oh, they're doing this like crazy thing right now. They're sparring all these people, but it's like, no, their, their general training is like normal people training. Like, you know? Yeah. They're not so like, like they, yeah. It's the method of sales, right? So you're selling something. Right, 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 you right. Want a, a, attention to the thing. So like you when you're watching this, you're they're trying to grab your attention to continue watching. Actually, yeah, that's so true. That's so true. I started uh, Wild Ball Country again with uh, Tara. And after the Tiger King, because we hadn't seen, she hadn't seen Wild Ball Country. So I was like, oh, let me check this out. And <laughs> it, it's interesting because like knowing how the story unfolds later on, you know, like, you know, the ending that like it's Sheila yeah. versus Bagwan. Um, yeah. I was like, oh, they're building that up. Like you could see it now. Like, yeah. like, like exactly what you're saying. It's like they're taking the parts that are sensational and like carving them in a specific way to make you stay engaged, you know? Exactly. Yeah. But like watching it the second time, I'm like, oh, I know where this is going to go. And I'm like, oh, they're laying the foundation here. Right. Right. Yeah. They think about the first episode, the way the first episode is like, like we don't know anything about these characters or these people. And then at the end of it, you see like, oh, he's in jail. So what happened? Right. Oh, so then that's so had... fascinating. So how did that happen? And then you go through the each episodes and you're... That's, and you so, get to... that's so interesting because I didn't even think about it that way. That's so true. It's like they are doing this stereotype, um, the like archetypical narrative where it's like, let me introduce the characters. There's a problem, solution, you know? And like, yeah. but like if I had just seen this like normally, I would have just passed by and been like, oh, I don't need to watch this. Like this is not for me. You know? What I felt really with the like with all the story, it's like it didn't really have an ending because it's real, right? Right, like it, right, right. It right. didn't. Be... They they were kind of talking how like it's not over, you know? It's not over, yeah. But like I I almost didn't care at that point, you know. It it almost it actually freaked me out because like I realized that you can turn anything into a documentary, you know. You just need something weird enough, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and these are those. Like, well, whatever the word is, like eccentric people. people. Like, yeah, yeah, but but like what what it made me think about is like oh, but if you like frame anybody's life, it can be eccentric, you know, it's just depending on what part you cut up, you know. And it was tripping yeah. me out because I was like, oh my god, like am I a weirdo? You know, you start thinking that like because anybody can be a doc, like like those people, nobody would have cared about those people, but because we're putting a camera in front of them, we're like entranced now, you know, like those tiger keepers, like. Nobody would have talked to you before. Nobody cared. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like, nobody even heard about this Tiger King issue, you know? It's just when they put it on Netflix, it's like, oh, now mm-hmm. now we all care all of a sudden, you know? I think I've watched, like, one of those YouTube videos of the Big Cat Rescue. Oh, really? Because the logo looked familiar. Oh, uh, interesting. Because, again, I watch all these wild, like, these... Nature things, yeah, yeah, yeah you Nature. do, yeah, yeah. But like, but like, I know I came across that, but like, I didn't really recognize. Like, I didn't like. I was actually just... thinking that too when, when with the wild cat, the big cat thing. I was like, I've seen this before, as yeah. well. Like, or maybe it was just like um, twenty twenty hindsight, right? I'm like looking back, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, I must have seen it before. But like, it did seem kind of familiar too. I was like, oh, this is like uh, a common nature reserve thing. But again, right. it's like, all right, so going into, like, the psychology of it, I totally agreed. 
Well, all right. So Tiger King, they were calling him the Tiger King, but it almost seemed like a Game of Thrones kind of situation, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, and then what nobody realized was like, she was doing the exact same thing, but from a different angle. Like, it's like, oh, I'll charge people, but it's like a nature reserve, you know? Yeah. Whereas yeah. him, it was like a zoo. And it was like, it was interesting. It's like, you're both using the same tactics, you know? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, it, it is, uh, it was good to see the light of the, like, they're basically almost the same in a way. Right, right, right. Yeah, totally. I mean, the main difference was like, uh, well, at least they didn't say it in that one. I, she doesn't do any breeding, right? So it doesn't, like, create more. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's just, like, protecting them. Totally, totally. Yeah. But, like, it's they're not also in a good condition, but that's all you can do, right? You can't really put them back in the wild. Right. Yeah, no, totally, totally. Did, do you think she killed her husband? It's all in I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. Like... I again even asking the question like do you think she killed her husband it's like I really don't care about these people you know what I mean it's like if you killed him you didn't kill him like yeah no exactly yeah I you really at the end of it it's like you're just so weird leave me alone yeah like okay I don't really I didn't really care at the end like okay I don't know if she did it and it doesn't really matter to me and I don't know if he even paid that person he probably was set up I would think he was set up but yeah true I I agree with that I like I don't know if he was a genius or gullible, you know? I think he was desperate at that time. But, but like, him being so, smart about, like, keeping people on, like, the, uh, what was that thing? Crystal meth? Yeah, that's, that's a little mess. <laughs> yeah, that was so nuts when, when they're explaining, like, the, the husbandry <laughs> between the two. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Like, like the, her, his two lovers weren't even gay, but he was, like, keeping them on because they were like addicted to the drugs so yeah. and then they were saying how like you would do anything for drugs and i was like wow that's that's <laughs> gnarly you know yeah, yeah but again that that's why i paint it in the picture of like don't even watch this because like this is just like you're just watching we're glorifying the negatives of society you know what i mean uh, I don't know. Like, like, uh, like with, with like Ted Bundy with Osho, I'm kind of like, okay, like watch out for these people. But like watching this Tiger King mm-hmm. thing, it was just like, people are just messed up. Like I came away with that with like, wow, people are actually crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this was like a weird. But then, yeah. but then at the same time, I was also thinking like, what things do we do that are like crazy? Like. Like, if you look at our setup, you know, like, like the nerd crazy, you know, they're like, wow, these people mm-hmm. actually spend all this money on like screens and like, oh, they do this podcast. You know what I mean? It's like, you can frame anything as crazy, you know, because it was normal to them, you know, yeah, yeah. what is normal? I, normal I, is just crazy. I do know what you're saying. Um, you know, and that's, but it's like, basically what, what we're doing is almost like a normal to like a lot of things. Cause a lot of people listen to podcasts, right? So it's right. like, okay, but, but being in the world of raising big cat is a, is a world that's not known. Right. Totally. Totally. But oh, so, so it's like, it's like accepted like crazy. So like, yeah. Yeah. So like what we're doing is like accepted crazy. What he's doing yeah. is like unacceptable crazy. So it's like, so that's why we're sensationalizing it. Yeah. Cause it's like, we're no one, no one, like there's very few people that do that. Right. Right. So it's like, true. So it becomes more interesting of a story I, I guess to, it's sort of like free solo too if you think about free solo uh, did you ever watch yeah. that uh i don't no i didn't know oh it's on disney man you should definitely check it out okay yeah it's it's oh it's so good it's so good it's so good even though you know he survives in free solo the whole mm-hmm. time you think he's gonna fall like just <laughs> right. the way just the way they filmed it it's so good so anyways um it's sort of like free solo. Like you see this guy like climbing a mountain without a harness and you think, Oh, he's crazy. But it's like, you know, we're going to create a documentary around a person that like doesn't do normal things, you know, just like yeah. this tiger King thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But so, I, I mean, you'll... like, uh, huh. yeah, no, well, like each two, like people will like certain things and they won't. So this doesn't work for you. Right. Right. Uh, right. But the free solo but, thing free... did work for me. Yeah, exactly. But but see, yeah. the difference is like the free solo thing is aspirational. This is more like despicable. Yeah, but like again, entertainment is different for everybody, right? So right, 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 right. True, true. I see your point. I see your point. That's why yeah. like negativity sells. And like, have you seen the um, SGN? Some good news. 
Uh, it's like I didn't on, watch. It's I big on YouTube it. right now. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch it though. But, it's yeah. pretty cool. Like I was thinking about that. Like at my old martial arts uh, studio, they were saying like, "Oh, it'd be cool if somebody ever Sydney did like a news series that's like positivity, you know?" And like watching that, I was like, "Oh, totally!" Like this guy's doing it, you know? Yeah, no. When I when I saw like the thing, then it reminded me about the 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 there was like a website that's always posting yep good news. he, he like, mentions that he mentions that he's like i'm not the first one doing this but it's, it's oh, cool yeah, that yeah, his yeah. star power you know is shining a light on it and then he was like oh. saying like if you want to check out more good news check out these sites you know okay cool yeah because yeah, yeah. like i remember that because when i saw that i knew what, like i knew what he was doing and then i remembered to go check that website <laughs> right, right 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 yeah it's it's interesting yeah it, it's interesting that you can go like either the positive route or like the negative route you know? or just entertainment or yeah but i mean that's what i mean like um like i'm turned oh. off by like the negative <laughs> route yeah but but it is all just entertainment right at the end of the day like his right. sgn thing like i watched the whole thing because i was like oh this is like very heartfelt you know mm-hmm. i i guess yeah i guess yeah you're right that is what the difference is it's like either you get entertained by like weird stuff or like positive stuff you know yeah yeah mm-hmm. What what else about uh, Tiger? Yeah, I mean, it, it, again, that's just, like going back to that. It's just like, like, how, like right now, this weird stuff is probably a bit more entertaining than what's going on in the world right now. Just so you don't have to focus on what the hell's going on. In the did world. do you see that uh, that meme where it's like uh, somebody's leaning over to talk to Trump, and then he's like, so the guy's like, oh, uh, this is happening and this is happening, and he's like, release the Tiger documentary, because it's like, it's no. like that'll <laughs> just like. Yeah, 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 like yeah. quell us, you know. It's right, all just right, like, right. and everyone's doing these like Tiger, Tiger King. I mean, even we're di- we're talking about Tiger King right now, so it's like <laughs> we're just like everyone else, you know. It's good content. Well, I mean, I mean, they're gonna do the same. Like, yeah, of course it's gonna be because everyone's at home. Yeah, actually, they, it's so funny. Like with the whole like uh, at home thing, I've been seeing so many memes of like responsible adult in twenty nineteen, and it's like. Or irresponsible adult in 2019, and he's like sleeping on the couch, and then like responsible adult in 2020, and it's like he's sleeping on the couch, same person, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was thinking about that yesterday too. It's like, because I was like watching this podcast and playing video games and stuff, and I was like, oh, wow. Like before this, they would have been like, what a what a weirdo. But now it's like, oh, no, yeah, you're entertaining. You're doing your part for society. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is, <laughs> is there anything else that uh, is coming out that you know of? Aside from like Tiger King, did all right. So did they pre- did they prep Tiger King? Because like, you watch those trailers, right? So, um, what do you mean? Prep like, King? like you know how like you watch those like coming out soon for Netflix. Mm-hmm. So like, was Tiger King there, and like you saw it, or was it just like they dropped it and everyone's like, oh my god? Like, was there like any anticipation for Tiger King? Uh, probably, yeah. No, they do release trailers, like, weeks before they drop the... Because I had no idea about this. He, all right, so, fun, funny about, like, marketing and stuff, right? Because everyone kept talking about it. But, like, I I went on Netflix, and I saw this, like, Tiger King thing, and I didn't care. I was like, ah, oh, that's not for me, you know? But then mm-hmm. the only reason why I watch it is because everyone's, like, talking about it. So I was like, okay, what is everyone talking about, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny, like, collective mind, right? We're all just, like... Swept well, that's what the... happens, right? If you look at net, like if you look at Twitter, like when you see things that are trending, right? Well, ah, true, 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 trending and stuff. But yeah, but yeah. the reason it's trending is more people adding on to it, and then you if you go and look at the trending, and then you click through it, and you want to put your own, you know what I mean? Is you're adding more to it? Oh, so so that's how that works. So like things that are trending is just people that are talking a lot about something. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, inter- well, that makes sense. The word trending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially on Twitter. Yeah. Hmm. that's the way they do it on on their website so like like i think when when <laughs> well, well i forgot the person but it was like like when you first found out someone got uh the uh the coronavirus some actor or it was like tom hanks or something and it's like uh-huh. and then you saw some other person's name trending you look at who's trending it's like oh did he get it and it's like oh no it was trending for a different reason oh that's you know? so funny <laughs> that's funny it's like yeah so there's some so it just if you keep adding on to it because because it just got released so of course people are going to talk about it right so if there's right. like a show like so like every sunday westworld so people will be talking about westworld so that becomes trending right right right, right. oh interesting interesting because yeah. it's like that's how if it's trending like that's how we 
we aggregately as a society like latch on to certain things. Yeah. You know, and then totally it worked because I mean, I would yeah, have never, I literally would have never watched this if it wasn't for like it being so popular, you know? Well, I wasn't going to continue watching it. Well, well what? Like I wasn't planning to continue watching it until you said like, let's, let's do a let's do your, Yeah. Right. It's totally, totally. I exactly. To watch this week. So, <laughs> cause it's, it's weird. It's like, it's like, I don't really care about these people. I don't want to, I don't want to care about these people, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it, it's weird. Cause it's like, you can, you can start caring about a character too. Like, did you feel that for any of the characters you grew like a bit of an attachment towards them? You're like, Oh, I hope that person does. Okay. Or like, you know, uh, like the dude that lives in his trailer. I was like, Oh, not really throughout only at the end because the end for the guy, because it's like, did he get, if he gets, did get set up, then it's like, that sucks. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. 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 About any other person's, throughout the thing until like something I felt that was if it was done wrong right but that that's about it though <laughs> do, do you think with the success of like Serial remember Serial the podcast I didn't listen to it but like it got the mm-hmm. case like pulled back in or something you know like, people started paying attention to it again yeah so I wonder if like by doing this they're trying to get Joe out of jail well I think it brings it back into the light uh i think they are looking at the case again like that's what i mean so it's like maybe this is just like a ploy to bring more popularity towards something and that's like the new trend after serial everyone's like oh let's just start a documentary on everything so that you know we can get these cases back out out there and stuff you know yeah yeah i think so i mean if if it works there's probably other documentaries that won't work for tv right totally so yeah yeah so there there are probably a lot of cases miss out on that you know what i was thinking about too i was like how do these people have so much money like they must be really good business people because you can't be dumb and run an entire park you know like joe exotic definitely has to be smart you know yeah yeah because like Uh, how how do you run a tiger thing how do you like know how to build things you got to like have contracts it's not like it's not simple you got to be really organized as a person like you actually have to be intelligent to run a business that's like built mm-hmm. on tigers you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's why i was kind of like oh maybe he's not dumb maybe like he's just playing dumb but he's actually like a mad genius like an evil genius you know mm-hmm. uh i think so it's a bit of that some people i don't know by the end of it it's like he was a certain different like a different way before the camera started right like, right when they showed that that was crazy yeah yeah so that was like, well, that's a totally different person than what, what we're seeing here. Like, cared about the tigers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, like, how much, mm-hmm. like, they, honestly, to, like, rebuild, you know when they, like, um they had, like, the fire burn down or whatever? Yeah. And then, and then it, like, killed the alligators and stuff, and they're like, oh, let's just rebuild it. It's like, you mm-hmm. can't just rebuild it like that, you know? It's like, what, do you have the money to rebuild it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I think, what I mean. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, they, they must be rich, dude. Like, yeah, so I'm, yeah. The, I, I, I mean, I don't know how we started it, but like, you would, when you're selling them, that's where you make the money, right? Right, like $5,000. $5, the $5,000 is not even a lot of money. I was like, oh, dude, I could totally buy a tiger, you know? I mean, like, mm-hmm. I'd have to go out of pocket. Like, that's a lot of money, but, um, but like, it's not, it's not, I thought it was going to be like $20,000 for a tiger. I think it depends on what it is. Right? Maybe it's like a like ligers or more. Yeah, ligers probably more. And like those like um, albino tigers, the the white tigers. Yeah. Because I think um, Mike Tyson had a white tiger. He had a white tiger. Yeah. How did the tigers not kill you? Uh, well, they can. <laughs> right, right. Oh, remember when they put the the thing in his shoe and the tiger started <laughs> biting it? I was like, oh, dude, this is gnarly. Like we're about to watch him die. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they were just filming. Yeah, that was that was super weird. And but they wanted him to die, right? Like it would have just been an accident, you know? Right. Yeah, I guess. It like it seemed like it because like nobody was like helping. They were just like filming it. So. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, but I'm surprised. Like, how did the tigers not? 
Like, I just don't understand that. Because, like, when I went to Thailand, right, like, we went to the tiger sanctuary there as mm-hmm. well. And, like, we were, like, petting tigers. I had that photo with the tiger. And, like, people were saying that the tigers are drugged. That's how they're mm-hmm. um, not killing you. And right. then, like, I was like, maybe. But, like, watching this, I'm like, are you drugging all those tigers too? Maybe it's just because, cause, like, what they told us in Thailand is that if the tiger grows up with people, it knows, like, the distinction, you know? It's not like a wild tiger. It's not like it doesn't have its, like, um, it still has its, like, instinct, but it's not the same. It's more domesticated, right? Yeah. So, like, when they're there, like, the tigers seem alert. So I was kind of like, if they're drugging them, how does this work, you know? I don't think so, but, like, uh, but, I don't like, know, maybe. It didn't seem like his tigers were drugged, so. No, like, I don't, how do they no, not I don't kill think. How kill you? Uh, it's. Well, they grew. I don't know. I don't know. Right? It's kind of weird, right? When you think about it, it's like, oh, really? They can, like. They can, I... But it, it depends, though. I guess it depends, like, if you're feeding them, you're already treating them. But then if they are getting hungry or if you're, like, annoying them, they maybe, kind of maybe, a... maybe that's what it is. It's like you have to keep them, like, satisfied. Yeah, I think so. Like, if you saw, like, um, what was his name? Jeff or whatever. Like, remember that lion? Like, that. Um, the clip where he was like sitting with the lion and start lion started to kind of like get annoyed by him. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he told his like wife to get out of the cage. Yeah, yeah. And then he like he like wrestled the lion a little bit. A little bit, yeah. They were trying to hold it off, but like he wouldn't have won until they got the water. The hose right. out, right? Dude, that's crazy. That's why I would never, I would never go near these sort of things. <laughs> that's true. Like thinking about it now, it's like wow, I could have just died. Yeah, exactly. There's always, like, that potential. I don't know. Maybe they do drug them in, like, Thailand. I don't know. But they said they didn't, so. Well, I mean, but they can say anything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know. But, like, yeah, that's a little. It's, it's weird, too, that, like, they all had, like, exotic cat. Like, we're, we're thinking about the tigers, but it's not just tigers they had, right? They had, like, um, what was that other one? It was, like, the black one, like, the leopards. and Not leopards. <laughs> They did yeah, have yeah, leopards, yeah. right? Just big ass, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheetahs, yeah. but it's they're so freaky, eh? Like even when they're cubs, when they're scree- squealing, <laughs> it's kind yeah. of annoying, right? You're like, oh man. Like, well, he did get annoyed by it. <laughs> what a weird like, way to live your life. You're just like yeah. in trailers. Remember when they showed his room, his bedroom, mm-hmm. and it looked like so trash? I was like, oh wow. Like, you, all you care about is this tiger. Like, you, you're you making so much money off tigers, but you don't even live in a mansion or anything, you know? Well, the other guy did, but yeah. Which which guy? Oh, the uh, doc? Huh? The, yeah, the yeah, doc. doc. Yeah, that was weird, too. All right, there's something about cults, man, that, like, tripped me out so hard. Just, like, yeah. like with, with Doc being a total cult leader, that was so freaky. Well, he had, like, an Indian guru name, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's then like they're a... like, "What is what is that word mean? What is mm-hmm. it we call you?" And it's like God. Yeah, or Lord, whatever. Yeah, yeah that's so weird. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> it, that's it's... that's what I'm it was. It, this was pure. Like you wouldn't meet these people, so that's why it fit for this kind of like just weird entertainment kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but it, who it, are? It reminds mm-hmm. me of like um, the other doc, like like the Wild Wild Country thing. You know? Yeah, it's like it's like there are weirdos out there that want to like take over, but I guess like it's only weird until it becomes normal. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's not like I think sometimes maybe their characters like that, and they're not. They're doing it not knowing like what they're exactly doing no but that's what i mean it's like joe exotic he doesn't think he's weird he thinks he's a normal person who's just exercising his rights so that's what made it weird it was like peering into insanity yeah you know you're like watching this thing and you're like oh this person has like no social understanding he's like a sociopath you know yeah no exactly yeah he's just like yeah it's there's no like, like, like thinking. E- even me- remember when the documentary guys like we're gonna have these tigers around you. We're gonna build you a, um, a throne. 
you know, they yeah, did the yeah. Tiger King, and he was he like loved it. Remember, and they're like, oh, he watched the the scene over and over. He's like, yeah, I am the Tiger King, and it's like, no, you're crazy, bro. Like, like, do you not see that he's trolling you? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm gonna give you like a throne and like a cape and call you the Tiger King. Like, you're you're being sensationalized for media, you know. Yeah, yeah, but that's what happens. That's Actually, what maybe, happen. maybe that's why, like, celebrities break. Because, like, thinking about it, you know, like, I was just watching this little little Wayne interview thing. And, like, mm-hmm. he has tattoos all over his face. And, like, we're all yeah. like, oh, style icon, right? But we're like, no, he's just he's just weird. Accepted weird, you know? Yeah. You got this guy with, like, tattoos, like, random scribbles all over his face. Or, like, Post Malone. Looks like a homeless dude, you know? <laughs> or, like, um, like, there's so many, like... Uh, rappers and stuff that like they they see a lot of it so a lot of the, the so a lot of that is like you have to be this weird or crazy to get the attention exactly and, and that's the that sickness attention. yeah and right? that attention helps to keep getting more popular totally totally and, and that's the sickness like you like uh have you ever heard of Blueface? Blueface? face yeah there's, no. he's like a rapper he has like a giant I think it's like it's like his logos tattooed on his face okay but like but all right so like going back to like these these like uh, mumble rappers like I've seen a couple of them like break down you know mm-hmm. and like he's, yeah. he was saying like this isn't even my car they're giving me all this money they're actually training me like I'm a slave here you know and it's mm-hmm. like yeah because you're just here for our entertainment like as soon as you're not entertaining anymore we're just gonna get you to leave yeah you know but that's like the yeah. dark side of it. It's sort of like, uh, you know, Tiger King. It's like we we only care for as long as we care. But then after that, it's like you're nothing to us. You know? Yeah, we really. Yeah, that, know, that's really true. And, and then like and then when they have that self-realization of like, oh, I'm just a product, a commodity. then they go like crazy because they're like, oh, my whole self-identity is nothing, you know. Yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, I thought they really loved me." Yeah, to- that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, yeah. what I mean. It's like it's so trippy to think about, like being in their shoes, you know, to have that realization later on. But know? that's what happens though with the celebrity world, right? Like you, you get all this attention. It's like uh, you, um, you get used to that, right? Right, right, right. right, right. Get that all the time, and but it's just for you know, just for the entertainment outside of that, they don't really care about you. Yeah, totally. I agree. I agree. It's funny. I was just watching this, um, hot ones episode with Zach Efron and I actually really like him after that, that thing, that, um, episode. Cause I was like, Oh, like, is he going to be superficial? Cause he seems like superficial, right? If you like look at him, right. Yeah. Like, you can, like judge a book by its cover. Right. But he was saying like, um, that being that jacked in Baywatch, he's like, I'll never do that again. Because it was so mm. dumb. Like, I was concerned with, like, making my six-pack into a four-pack. And, like, you don't want to have too much water under your skin or else you're going to look, like, too thick. Right. You know, and he's like, who cares about this stuff, you know? And then he has this new show called Killing Zac Efron. And, like, mm-hmm. what it is, he goes into the wild and he does, like, these weird challenges, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like... See, that's cool. You know, and he was saying like all this stuff about like celebrityism. He was like sharing all these crazy stories about like him meeting Tom Cruise and like Tom Cruise like messing up on his motorbike in front of him. You know, and it was yeah. just like, oh, wow, this is like a real perspective. Like you're a real normal person. But I think like because he he was popular through High School Musical. Right. And he was saying that like he couldn't go around after that. Yeah. Right. You know? Right. Right. And it's like from that yeah. perspective, you have this revelation earlier. That, like, no, you're just a commodity. Mm-hmm. you know yeah yeah that's a that there's that two ways thing here right like you could become really like uh involved into it in a bad way mm-hmm. or you could learn from it and try to like better yourself in a, in a way like so that you can handle these sort of things and not be fully um uh like used in a sense right right totally totally or if you or... like Alternately, yeah. you can like use your earnings to build a different way to create income, like Kevin. Yeah, Hart, for that, example. that is. Yeah, again, that's you have to learn early on that, right? Yeah, yeah. Because like, if, if you if you check out Kevin Hart's interviews or like watch his um, mm. stand up, he's like behind the scenes. I read his book, and he was saying that 
um, you need to he doesn't want to be a work for hire so basically right. like you just like hire him for this project and then like he's you're, he's dead to you you know or you're dead to him or no no yeah he's dead to you because like you're, you're right, just a yeah. commodity right but he's like if i create my own studios create my own like talent my own production company then i own it i'm not actually um a commodity anymore right you know? yeah but i think that's that's where you have to look because like it's a weird world, you know. Like right now, Joe Joe Exotic's a celebrity, you know, but tomorrow he's yeah. not. No, yeah, you know? it, yeah, exactly. He'll be forgotten pretty quickly. <laughs> and and actually, like looking at a lot of bands that I really liked growing up, like um, mm-hmm. Seosin, for example, I was checking out the lead singer's Instagram, and like he works. Like it's weird to see where people are working now. You know, he works like as a like ice cream shop person. Right, you know, oh. like like one of those, you know, like Baskin Robbins, like hey, mm-hmm. like I'll put this right. like, ice cream, you know, like like that, and it's like, but you were you were touring the world before, you were like this big star, you know, yeah, or like and, this, and... this band called the Yellow Card, they were like super huge, like gigantic, and then mm-hmm. they were like, okay, we're just gonna stop touring for a bit, like they haven't put out a CD in so long, and um, yeah. he he was like a car insurance salesman. Like that's mm. what he, that's what he did in his off time, you right? Know? But it's just like this. It's like you're a commodity to us. Like when you're not important or relevant, then you're nothing. You know? Yeah. 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 It's exactly. Crazy. Have you watched Artifact? No. I, I don't that? know if it's still on Netflix, but it's a really good one. Have you heard of Thirty Seconds to Mars? What? Have you heard of Thirty Seconds to Mars? No. No. Uh, oh, uh, Jared Leto. Jared. No. You don't know Jared Leto. No. Oh, uh, yeah, I know Jared. Okay, Leto. so J- Jared Leto, it's his band, Thirty Seconds to Mars, and like the whole show, the whole documentary is about the music industry and how like when you put out an album, you actually incur more debt than you do profit, and it's like a vicious cycle. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it's sort of like the, with the studio company, right? Like, yeah, totally, totally. So it's like, it's like we look at them again as like heroes, but you don't know the business behind the scenes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And like a lot of rappers are saying that too. It's like the reason why you have to buy, like, no, no, you'll live in like Malibu or something, right? But you're leasing your house and you can barely afford to make payments, but you don't want to live in the ghetto because it's like, you don't want people to think like you didn't make it out even though you're famous. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, it's crazy, mm-hmm. crazy. Like the perception that you have to build, you know? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like very Joe exotic. He's probably like patting himself on the back after this Netflix doc. Right. Cause like he's in jail and he's like, Oh, people love me again. But it's like, yeah, we love you until COVID's like over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, or like until the next thing, right? Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. freaky. So, um, I guess, do you want to do you want to score it again? Do you want to say whether or not it's watchable? Yeah. Or do you have anything Another, else? Yeah, you, uh, not the net. No. no, I don't think anything else about this show. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I wasn't going to watch the full thing, but I watched I it for this podcast. So, <laughs> but, so you're still going to say it's worth the watch then? I just say, if you have nothing else to do, if you just want some weird, weird, like, because you know at the end, it's like, it's, it doesn't really conclude anything. But, like, you don't know that at the end. That's what I'm saying, yeah, you don't know until the end. That's why I was like, I was interested to know, like, what's going on. But then it's like, uh, it's because it didn't resolve anything. It was kind of like a waste of time. You just, like, peered into these weirdos' lives. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're saying if you're really bored during this quarantine, go check it out. Yeah, go check it out. Nothing else to do, so. Yeah, true. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, even though we're in this quarantine, still don't check it out. You you can spend your ten hours watching something else, like a Wild Wild Country. I think that one's way better. Hmm. Yeah. Well, they have yeah they have they have multiple different types of docs on on there. So. Is there Some anything? That did... Is there anything good coming out like? 
now that now that what do you mean on yeah or... like just just like what what can we look forward to i know final fantasy 7 is coming out on uh friday of next week i'm stoked yeah. for that i'm trying to finish final fantasy 8 right now so that i can you know move on are to you the game. are you getting it digitally um i might i might well i mean <laughs> the only, that's the only way i can get it right because there's no store so you can order it on amazon i guess Oh, true. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Like, I feel like digital's. Oh, but yeah. right, right. Oh, the, the memory. Oh yeah, that you're. That's that's the thing that you gotta do. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have to figure it out. Maybe maybe digital. Or it it also depends on like how long the game is. Like I'll wait to see. You, you know what I mean? Like, is it worth the hundred bucks if it's just like a segment that you can complete? in like yeah if it's like we'll 10 see. hours of gameplay it's like all right totally but if it's like it's six hours of gameplay but amazing gameplay it's like all right that's not worth 100 bucks though you know what i mean yeah i don't, I don't think it's going to be six hours this might be longer but we'll see yeah like what, what does it get up to and stuff you know yeah yeah and then how long do you have to wait for the next one yeah i don't know yeah yeah, yeah. i don't if know it was, but if it was the full game i'd be like totally but the like thing is like there's nothing really coming out like now. Last of Us has been pushed back, pushed, delayed. No uh, way. Oh, too bad. I think the games will start getting delayed because of this, um, the coronavirus. So, um, do you see that thing? Corona stopped making beer because of the coronavirus. <laughs> Did they? Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Totally funny thing about like misused media. So, I saw this thing on like Six Buzz, and they're like, oh. Um, the Filipino uh, president has given a license to kill during COVID. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dude, that's so crazy, right? And then I asked my cousin who's actually in the Philippines, and he's like, oh, man, media really spins things. Eh? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, um, what he said was, if you feel like your threat, your life is being threatened when trying to like um, uphold the quarantine law, you can use, your, you can use whatever force is necessary. Mm-hmm. And then they turn that into like license to kill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I mean, but those are like. Let's see. The thing that happens is this. Uh, I don't know if it's written in the article necessarily like that. It's like the headline. It's a headline that's meant to just attract. And if you just read the headline, of course, you're just gonna only think that, and that's what's gonna spread, right? True, but that's the world we live in now. Just headline reading. I exactly. Didn't even, I didn't even so that, in the article. That's, I was that, like, oh. Exactly. That's my issue with it. That's why I always, okay, well, like, what what does this really mean? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I've gotten used to the, always just looking into it more first is just reading what and the headline And that's is. why I ask you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't look into it more, but you do. So I'm like, all right, man, what's really going on? You tell me. Yeah, because, I don't know, for me, it's always like, I don't think so. Because it doesn't, that sounds way too drastic. And then you're like, you know what I mean? Like, I I think I've gotten used to the point where it's like, okay, that doesn't seem real. Wow, really? Eh? Yeah, I I think so. It's like whenever I read something or hear something, it's like, okay, that doesn't seem real. Let me like look for look into totally, it. Totally, yeah. But it's like I, I've gotten used to more like, okay, that sounds a bit more real. That doesn't sound real. Like you know. Interesting. Yeah. No, I haven't I haven't developed that filter yet. I just like I don't know. I feel like. I feel like I know a lot about things that I'm really interested about, but like very little about the world that I don't care about. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah That's yeah. why I stick to the headlines. I'm like, ah, I saw this thing. Like, I don't care enough to like look into it. It doesn't really affect well, that, me. That's why misinformation happens a lot, especially on the internet now, because you just read the headline and that's totally, yeah. the, you know, the most incorrect information that but you like, get. But like for like COVID updates in Canada, like I watch everything because it's like this actually applies applies to me. So it's like I really need to know this, you know. Yeah, I've been watching like the Trump speech almost every day. Really? Eh? Well, is it like is it like um... the thing with the Trump is like you are getting informed with the those actual doctors on his on on his team there, like because they're the ones who actually read out the facts. But Trump makes it entertaining because he's really not good at answering questions, and he really like. And he kind of like berates the media at times. He oh, no like way. That's the, so funny. In the middle of it, it's like he's like he got like a tough question or something. He doesn't answer it, but he's like 
fake news from from CNN or something. Uh, right? That's funny. And he's like, okay, enough from you. I'm gonna go to this other guy. It's like he makes it like it's entertainment. I feel like that's entertainment. But then when there's some serious questions, and then the doctor comes on and actually talks, and he's like, he's very like factual about his answers. Oh, that's good. So, have Have you so, seen yeah. uh, Have you seen the Rob Ford stuff? Um, where Where he's making it? Like, do you watch the Rob Ford announcements? Uh, somewhat, some of them. Okay, have you noticed that the guy that he hired to do, like, the um, hand signs thing is, like, so into it? So animated? But all of them have been like that. Oh, Lo- my God, watch- it's so weird. I can't watch I'm like, what is I can't watch doing? it. I, can't- I know, I know, but it's like, I understand, mm-hmm. but this is very distracting. It is, it is. Like, their facial, <laughs> it's almost like he's, like, dancing. It's almost like you're trolling me as I watch this, right? But it's part of it, though. It's the whole thing is part of it. I know, but it's it's like you don't have to emote so heavy, bro. Like, you know, I can't even pay attention to what Ford's saying. I'm just watching you do your like dance. That's why. Moves. I, that's why I'm not watching it. I run it. I'm listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true, true. That makes sense. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Speaking of dance moves, did you hear the uh, Tootsie slide? The what? You you see like here you go. Great example. You you, are, you like look into real media stories and i'm over here watching like trendy shit <laughs> uh so um uh the tootsie slide is drake's new song i think it's tootsie slide tootsie slide i don't know so okay. um basically so have you seen the tiktok thing that everyone's doing like that line and they do like the arm thing and then they like do a shuffle and they dance i've seen some tiktok things but i don't know what like, it, it's I, like I, this one thing that everyone does. It's like they like line up and then one person does the dance and then he steps out of frame. The next person does a dance, steps out of frame. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, okay. So it's like, it's really big right now. But when I heard the new Drake single, I was like, oh, you're, you're just making a TikTok song. Cause, cause mm, all right, yeah. so ba- basically, basically the lyrics are, um, the, the hook is left foot up, uh, right foot slide. Right foot up, left foot slide. I'm gonna teach you how to dance, something like that. It was like that, that's right. the that's the lyrics. And then I watched yeah. the video, and it's just like him doing the dance and explaining it. And then the next thing I see is like, like city TV. What do we have here? CTV, right? Yeah. Yeah. The oh, yeah. whole the whole studio cast was doing like the, yeah. the dance, and I was oh, like, move? oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh man, like you're trying to make a meme right now. Well, I mean, that is genius, right? That is what you have to do. Right, I know, but it's just so like lame. Like, of if, course. Like, I, the, I, I, after this, I'm gonna like when the podcast's done. I want you to check out the uh, the video of it. Like, just what the dance move is. It's so dumb, but it's like you're definitely gonna create a TikTok craze. Like, everyone's gonna start doing it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, it's weird. This is really showing us like what we'll gravitate towards when we're bored. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Like I really thought, <laughs> I really thought people like if you had free time and you're bored, you just create something cool. But like that's the few and the far between. Most people just like sedate themselves, you know. Uh yeah, that's what I've been saying. I know, of but course. like, but now it's like we're getting like concrete evidence of it. You know, because like I always thought like with UBI, right? If you had UBI, a lot of people would like follow their dreams. You know. Yeah, but like you, again, uh, you also can't go outside. There's like so many limitations right now, right? I guess, but like, I guess. I'm not saying yeah. that. I'm not saying that that's like the. I'm not saying that that is um, that this doesn't happen. I'm saying it. It can happen, but it's like you're you're really stuck inside. You can't go anywhere, right? Totally, totally yeah. But but if you had or, UBI, like you'd probably still just like go to the restaurant or something. You wouldn't like. Like, what would you do that's... I don't know, but, like, everyone's into different things, right? If, if um, I'm just saying, like, this is a much more, like, a... Oh, I see what you're saying. So, like, some people would be, like, more restaurant reviewers or, like, they would like I, I don't be know. hikers oh, yeah, just... and stuff. Because, like, yeah. I've been seeing, like, Wob's, Wob's videos, and I'm like, oh, that's a great use of your, your time. Right. You know, like, you're creating videos every day, but, like... Again, also, someone has to be there to watch those videos, right? True. So... <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's some yin and yang stuff right there. You need to like, you need the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you Actually, need those entertainers, this, and you want to be entertained, right? This uh, this whole thing has been hitting like entertainers hard because they haven't been able to make money. 
like touring mm-hmm. and stuff. I've been like looking into it, and um, but it's cool because like they do like a lot of free content. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's cool because, like, they're just exercising their creativity. Um, Instagram Lives are becoming super popular, like, a lot of studios. So how do you feel about this? So, like, some studios are charging money for live sessions and some are just doing it for free. Uh, How do I feel about that? Yeah. Uh, That's up to them. No, totally. I agree. But, like, isn't that a weird business decision? It's, like, you're just putting off people. Like, we got nothing to do. And then you're charging us money, whereas other. But again, it's like, how do they pay their instructors, right? But like, yeah, yeah. Like for example, well, Sana Yoga does like free um, yoga classes every day. Mm-hmm. Now you can like tune into the live and watch it, follow along. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you follow them what? on Instagram every day at a specific time, I think it's like seven or something. They always have Jingle. like a yeah yeah from their house and stuff. And oh, then, that's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And then, um, I mean, silver. Yeah. Well, what? You might check it out. I should follow. I haven't follow, I don't follow them. On yeah, just follow them on Instagram. Yeah, Sana Yoga. <laughs> they they do like uh, full practice, and like they get like thousands of people on there. It's crazy. I'm just like, whoa. Well, people have want to. You know, I mean, it's good to exercise too, right? So. I guess, but it's just um, like it's so trippy to think that like that's that's like we're really using technology to bring ourselves together. You know. I mean, that was already being done before, right? It's just now we have to do it. Now we have to do it. Yeah, yeah that's what's fascinating, right? Yeah. But, um, and like this other one, um, Silver Fox BJJ, he does mm-hmm. like live classes every day at 1030 as well. Is that, uh, so they're all doing it for free, right? They're all just doing it for free. Yeah, you just tune in live. Yeah. And like uh, Kevin Hart has been doing like live workouts I've seen. Uh, so like you just like you do, he doesn't like teach you or anything but like it's just him working out live right i believe in the u.s uh hbo released like like 500 hours of free like free stuff to watch oh no way that's cool i was like oh well, that's they have like a free channel and then a paid channel well yeah it's like all their all their like older ones like all their like oh, that's cool. Out. still that's they, cool wire i think is on there it's like a bunch of different things oh that's really cool yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how, like, this is all... I really think things are going to just shift after the end of this. Like, digital is going to become so I big. Think, I think there will be a lot of changes because this is going on kind of long. Totally, so, yeah. It, it, there will be a lot of ramifications from this. Well, what do you think about this? I heard Joe Rogan bring this up, and I was like, oh, I heard about this in school as well. Like, so in, a, in my international business class, they were talking about how, like... Um, economies rise and fall all the time like you know rome used to be big and now it's not england used to be mm-hmm. big now it's not usa yeah. is really big but like that'll only last for so long and he was saying like joe rogan was saying that because of this and china is the first one to like come out of the economic crisis like uh, out of like the quarantine so they're yeah. the first step in production and then we could see like a shift in superpowers now right you know because like if they're producing and people are buying it, that's a huge spike in their money. How long before USA's economy can open up again? Mm, right. You know what I mean? Like there could be some <laughs> intense ramifications after this. Yeah. Even trade wise, oh, yeah. like it's really showing you a lot of stuff like how uh, Trump was like 3M will not ship to Latin America and Canada anymore. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there could be other ramifications from that, but yeah. 3M doesn't want to do that, but the government has cho- said that, right? Right, so. totally, totally. D- yeah, it'd be, oh, I don't know. I'm like really excited to see what's well, then that big. Happened, like, so that happens. I think what, what I think global economy is, I think, looked at a bit more now, like not a good way to go, like do do it because... It seems like you should just be doing everything locally. Totally, yeah, but see, totally, I agree. But you can't do that because we can't grow certain things here. Like it's no, 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 production no. I know. Yeah. Like, no, no, but in like like certain things, like especially the things that you need in the emergency, should be done locally. locally. Yeah, true. Yeah, so that's going to be a shift too. Do you see that thing where they're like banning China from eating dogs and cats? Uh, no, I didn't say that. But it was a headline, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's that? <laughs> it was like BBC News. Saying what? To that, ban? Like, no, like 
um, they're going to stop. There's like a new law that's like you can't eat them anymore. Like inside of UK or in China? China, China. I don't think they're going to stop that. Hmm. I don't know. It's already actually in many parts of China, it's already banned. Illegal. Yeah. Oh, really? hmm. But they can't they can't stop it. Right. Yeah. True, true, true. It's already like banned in many parts of China. So do, do you see that it, thing? Do you see mm-hmm. that thing here where like this person held a house? So this is just so dumb. This is exactly why things are spreading. But um, this person held a house party for like twenty people. Okay. And then the, this is Canada. And then the cops yeah, came it, and they they gave him like a like the maximum fine. penalty, a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Oh jeez. Well, up to a hundred thousand dollars. So it's like. Uh, they're, they're setting the the limit like he has to go to court but like it's not... i don't know why people are doing well people are going to do dumb things that's generally what happens but yeah like a part uh, like i get it if it's like you're like picking something up or like doing something you know whatever like sharing groceries like like within the confines of it but like a party is that just that makes no sense i mean but it's also the people who went to the party you can do a party set up a party but it's like then for like, them to want to go yeah yeah it's like even going to it are you and and while saying how like on the street they're doing like line dancing or something i was like what yeah 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 i heard about that like people are doing different things but they're not like i think that's just like because there's a Boy. wait like right yeah yeah they're poor <laughs> you, you know it's so funny this um so somebody's been sharing this like um on april 4th which is today at like 7 p.m we're going to like clap our hands for uh the healthcare yeah. workers right they were like sharing that all across facebook like i got one of the messages i was like oh that's weird um but in our apartment last night at like 6 p.m somebody mm-hmm. was on their balcony like banging and like clapping and then like other people were joining in but like not everyone came outside so they just went back inside <laughs> is i was like i was tripping out though because like what is this person i thought there's like some fight or commotion going on you know yeah it started somewhere but like i, I heard about that it's happened in other parts of the world too yeah but, but it's like... uh, yeah, yeah okay i don't know i i for me those things are non um like it i don't really do anything yeah like true, I, true. I don't understand what that really does maybe i don't know I don't, solidarity really, support I don't know. does it really uplift yeah does it really uplift this is like i don't know what what could uplift the nurses like something maybe we should help in pitching in for the get mass i i you no, know no, what yeah, i like, no, see i i totally agree with that like like something how, tangible yeah exactly this is how i look because it goes back to even like like praying or something like i don't believe that right like, right, you, right do something like that's the cheering what is that really doing totally i agree i agree have you seen the uh, commercials for um tim hortons now very cool commercials like it's just them delivering uh, i know i heard i knew about the delivery i don't i don't i didn't see the commercials no. so it, it, it's like them spraying down their car and then they drive to give like coffee and donuts to like nurses and stuff oh okay okay yeah, i was that's like oh that's, that's cool that's a cool video yeah but i was also thinking like does that violate the the five person rule because who's filming that you know what i mean like how do, well, you yeah. have, how do you have new commercials coming out makes no sense to me because <laughs> you need like a lot of people to, to run a commercial mm. mcdonald's has new commercials too like like a um, stay-at-home delivery commercial yeah it's all about delivery i and saw I, four i counted commercial. four people mm-hmm. in the frame <laughs> so so what there's like a film guy and director so that's seven people already already breaking violation bro mm. well i don't know i don't know how that works maybe those are essential <laughs> yeah true yeah yeah, yeah that's true right? it's weird it's weird to think about actually it's interesting to bring that up because i was thinking i was thinking about that a couple of days ago um mm-hmm. the whole fight club philosophy of like essential persons aren't getting paid very much, you know, but they're the backbone of our society. And like when something goes wrong, we start to see it, you know, yeah. we, we all yeah. rely on delivery drivers, take out people. But like when things aren't, when things are going good, we're all like venerating bankers and stuff, mm. you know, but then when things go bad, it's like, Oh, thanks for staying open. Grocery store beggar. Mm, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we, we don't care otherwise. I think that's going to change too. Like, 
I feel like I feel like a lot of companies are going to go digital after this. I think they're going to have the revelation of like, oh, we can actually run our operation like remotely. I think that'll be in, within the design of it, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just in case this happens again. Or like it'll also give people more like... So well, it's... Uh, yeah, well, it, it, they're planning... Not planning, they're expecting it another like rise in the... Like the winter or the fall or whatever. Oh, so, really? Another COVID? Nothing like... I don't think it'll be as big as this. It's just... Like there will be a little slight increase and then right. slow down again. So, so like, it'll be there. It'll be there here and there for like probably a couple of years. No way! Wow, that's crazy. As long as like once we like bring the curve down now, like then you can kind of like control it a bit, I guess. Right. But there will be people here and there catching it. So that's crazy. It it'll be really interesting to see like 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 one of the things that I liked about. Um, working at my current place is uh it's like two days remote you know yeah so like i wonder if more companies are going to start to like implement that especially because you said that it's going to like ebb and flow like mm -hmm. it'll rise and go away so like i wonder if they'll do like you know two days remote because we want to keep the like how do you jump start the economy back up like i can't imagine this how is this going to so work you, you know no, think about it like okay so like cruise no one's going to go on a cruise for at least a few years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Where's the money? E even even restaurants. Restaurants, I I don't think people are going to go out to eat not that often. Totally. For another year. <laughs> yeah. And and like so, expensive expensive items, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like I saw this meme. It's like, stop flexing on Instagram. We all know you're broke. And it's like, yeah, of course, because we don't have jobs right now. Mm -hmm. You know? But like, I agree. So it's like, it'll be a few years before things get normalized yeah but like what is that i was driving down young street the other day to pick up um uh, pizza and mm -hmm. i was like oh my god all the stores are closed like it's it's eerie you know it's very like war of the worlds or like mad max how like everything shut yeah. down yeah, yeah it is you know you're just like oh it's odd i uh, mean the great thing is there's not traffic no traffic for me when i go to work that's true back. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> how how oh, is the thing, the oh, thing yeah. was like, like because of all this shutdown, people staying homes. Again, like how I, how I said about China, like reducing in uh, those emissions or whatever. Same thing is happening here and around the world. So, oh really? Eh? Emissions. Are so it's like, up? it's like, yeah, it's like oh, uh, we're kind of like, maybe you know we're we're helping it you know last a few more years. Right. Before. Right. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Have you seen that meme with like Greta and like her looking at Trump and then it's like when when a virus does more for the environment than you do? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she's like trying to champion all of us and it's like, no, the virus literally shut us all down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but what's weird to me is like how but I heard this thing yesterday and I was like, oh, that doesn't seem right. Um like what? they expect hundreds like like hundred thousand people to die by the end of this. So that that's in America. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. No, no, wait, no, America no, no, no. In um, I think Ford said it because I heard it on the radio. They were like, he said that. Okay, so the Ontario numbers came out yesterday, and that uh -huh. with the mitigation, they're expecting three thousand to fifteen thousand dead. Okay. And if we didn't do any mitigation, that would be hundred. Hundred thousand. Yeah, in Ontario. Wow. If we that was that was if we didn't do any mitigation. Dang. See, see, like that's that's why I go to you and so like in the headlines. So yeah, but <laughs> no, like American numbers were like with mitigation that's hundred thousand dead. Damn. Even and with mitigation, that's insane. It's a range. It's hundred thousand, hundred that like hundred thousand to two hundred and 40,000. I think that was the range. But oh. again, these numbers can go down and they're the way that they do these models are also based on what's happening in Italy and Spain and, and right, it's kind of like right. all added together. So but if if we're doing even more in the mitigation like uh like actually staying home and following all the rules, then it would probably be less than 100,000. But right. like now the models show we could have uh 100,000 dead. That's in America. And if we didn't do any mitigation in America, that would have been one to two million dead. Damn. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's, that's so, nuts. So we don't have like the full Canada numbers. We only that was the I was only Ontario numbers. That one Ford was saying since he's just premier of Ontario, right? So right, 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 right. Oh, I don't know if so we'll get the Ontario. Yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's expected. I mean, it'll it'll be it'll be there for some months. So a few months. Well, all right. What's your prediction? Well, we'll end on this. What's your prediction? How long do you think we're going to be in quarantine for? Uh, actually, I have uh, this. I have this bet. Actually, with Tara, maybe, maybe uh, July. I would say. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, It'll still have numbers here and there, but like, I think it will. Okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let, let me do a multi-pronged question. So, uh, first of all, when do you think uh, schools will go back to school? Go back to school? Yeah. Uh, we're not going back to school this school year. So September. Uh, maybe. Dang. All right, true. Um, what about um, when do you think the quarantine ban will be lifted that we can all go outside again? Mm. Again, the numbers are good. Maybe. May. Okay, I'll, I'll say June. I'll say June. Okay, interesting. That's what my that's what my mom was saying too. Like June, it, it looks like June might be. Um, yeah. When do you think um, public spaces will be open again, like parks, um, libraries, stuff like that? I guess that would be. Uh, I mean, I think it would be like June too, right? Maybe maybe July. I don't know. True. Okay, just, I think it's gonna I, be like waves too. I think it's gonna be like, all right, we're gonna release these. Okay, if things they, are okay, we're gonna release it, these. So they won't they won't release like open everything out at once. That's it'll what I'm be, saying too. Yeah, totally, totally. It's gonna be like certain. It'll be in phases. You you can't open. You can't be just like, oh, we should be good now. <laughs> open up because that's how the virus will spread. Again, yeah, exactly. So it's yeah. like it'll be like, okay, we'll start opening up. Restaurants can be sit down now. Or like, oh, we're gonna open up public spaces now. Okay, schools will be open now. You know. Yeah. I, think be, I think it'll be like that, you know? So, okay, so when do you think movie theaters and restaurants will open again? <laughs> that's that's a big one. Probably, like, July. Yeah, may, yeah, maybe the summer. I'm thinking the summer. I think maybe so, too. August. It'll go into August. Yeah, may, really. maybe, like, end of July, August. I could see yeah. that. Like, that's yeah. when they're like, okay, it's safe to... And then when August... When those are all good... I think they'll open like yeah, schools are gonna start in September. But you, the thing is, it's it like uh, I really like Trudeau's speech, like the whole like the war type speech. I don't know. I thought that was really so, good. That scared me though, bro, because I was like, what if this was wartime and you're asking me to join the army? But it technically is because what what's happening now hasn't happened since World War Two. Which is freaky, yeah, yeah, totally. Well, which yeah, is right. with the Great Depression, something like that. Yeah, and. And yeah, some people are saying this is not a recession. This is a depression, right yeah, now. True. Yeah. And, yeah, and and I mean, a lot of the things that has been closed or whatever has mm -hmm. been closed or like sports wise hasn't been stopped since like World War Two. So it's like a yeah, lot of this is very remnants of that time. All right. And I oh uh, actually, do you think they're blowing it out of proportion then or no? Who government? Yeah, yeah, like the world. Uh, I don't think so. Really, I I question it. I don't know. Because like so, all right. So think about this. So so right now we have the infrastructure to do it, right? But back in the SARS time, we, we couldn't. We could like we can do like things remotely. We can have like Zoom calls for classrooms and stuff. You know what I mean? Like we have like technology. Okay. But what if this was during the SARS time? It was during the SARS time. We didn't shut anything down. Because we okay, couldn't. So we couldn't. So you know. Here, this this is where you have to understand. Like this is. Because it's happening everywhere. Uh huh. The SARS is a, happened much, everywhere. No, 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 no. It was not spread like everywhere. It was spread like a big impact happened in Toronto, and I think only like a certain part of America and in China, right? And other parts here and there, but like not a lot because you could, the way you you could spread like uh, you could stop the spread because it doesn't it doesn't spread easily. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. It was not spread easily because. You would be sick, then only you can uh, transfer it. Here, you can transfer it without being sick. Oh, right, right. asymptomatic, right? Yeah, and 
um, or it's not just being asymptomatic is before you even show symptoms, you could be transferring. Right, right. Because it's like the incubation period. Yeah, exactly. Totally. So this is more severe. This is acting like a flu, how a flu just easily spreads. So this is exactly like that. Except it's so, got a higher death rate. Well, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, what I mean by similar as the flu, as in its transfer rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Very what easily, you know, catchable. So, um, oh, so it's, okay. Under those, it's like, mm -hmm. if you put it that way, I'm like, okay, yeah, they aren't blowing out of proportion then. Yeah, because they wouldn't have shut down all these things because <laughs> it's it's really that bad. Hmm. Did you look in any stats about like the Spanish like, flu? Look, look at Italy, like look at Italy, because because some people didn't follow those, the social distancing and stuff. It's big problem over there. It's right, a huge right, right, right. Right. Did did you and, do you look into the Spanish flu at all? Uh, I didn't look too much into it. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, actually, into it since then. No. Why? Oh, okay. No, I'm just wondering if like if now we're comparable to that. It's. I mean, it's acting similar to that, but I don't. I don't know too much about it. I don't say too much about it actually. Right. Okay. Mm. But That's even then, at that time, it's like we, people weren't even flying a lot. So it was like not as easy to spread. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, but it, it had did to be like, yeah. It did still take it still took out a lot of people. But this thing is because we fly around so easily. It's much more transferable around the current around right, the world. Right, right, so right, totally. Now we have it's a big issue. Yeah. I was I was actually thinking about this yesterday as I was like playing playing video games. I was like, what a weird time to be alive that we're like we're encouraged to just stay inside, chill out. Like, yeah, we're gonna get our COVID relief fund, you know, restaurants are still open, you know, they go, but a lot of them it's yeah. Actually it's, blaze pizza down the street shut down. That sucked. Cause that's why we had to go did. to young and Eglinton. Well, I was they like, have oh. a takeout thing really, right? No, 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 they, to... they don't. Oh, wait, wait, say yeah. again. Wait, wait. Like they didn't have like a setup in a way for a takeout. No, but it's same with more... Pico though. Pico, oh, they're Pico's all... where we got the other pizza. Oh, yeah, but no, I think it's just because like they weren't, they couldn't afford to stay open, you know. Oh, that's that, that's the thing. Yeah, like it, you're really not making a lot of money with takeout. Yeah, like it's not that even to stay open and to pay employees. Yeah, yeah, totally. Employees. Actually, I was watching a because I heard like like someone that was working at Tim Hortons. Uh huh. Uh, it's like that's like one day they made like maybe five hundred dollars, which is Oof. nothing. Yeah, so it's like you really supplies. you just paid for the person's working. You didn't really make anything. Yeah, so you it's didn't not pay for like the energy bill or like the supplies yeah. that you used for the day. Yeah, you, totally. That's not enough money. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah that's why the restaurants are the most impacted. And, and I was and in Joe Rogan's podcast, he was saying that like restaurants already are very difficult. Even if you're very successful, it's hard to stay open. Yeah, but like it's, with this, it's even worse to stay open. You know. We're yeah. we're definitely gonna like, like when this when they're like, okay, you can open up again. You're gonna see so many stores stay closed. So and many stores what stay, stay closed? closed? Yeah, because I was watching yeah. this thing on um see like the news Canadian news, and they're like, oh, what about like the relief fund of like forty thousand dollar credit? And this guy was like, I don't want to go into more debt. <laughs> like yeah. that makes no sense. Just to what stay open? Yeah, they really can't stay open. I think restaurants will be the biggest. We'll have the biggest you know? impact, yeah, of this thing. Yeah, yeah very. It was so interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like we're we're in a time unprecedented, and like this is definitely gonna change the trajectory of the world. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, speaking of I, which, I, yeah, you're saying. Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, finish that thought. Yeah, it's interesting to see. That's, I mean. <laughs> What a weird time to be alive, right? Yeah. But a cool yeah. time, though, because we're just chilling, playing video games. I'm like, all right, let me just finish this. All right, do a podcast with you. I was I like, mean, oh, I'm going to make this work, beat. Though, yeah. No, no, but like, even though you still got to go to work, it's like, it's still different. It's yeah, not yeah, the yeah. same feeling. It's the feeling's still different. I do want it to back to the same, so it's just, you know, I'm used to that, you know? <laughs> you know, me too. Yeah, totally. I was just like, <laughs> but it, it's interesting because it makes you like reflect like, what don't I need or what do I need, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I was going to say times are really changing when I, I was driving when we were getting the pizza I saw um, uh, 
an ad saying the first ele- fully electric Porsche. And I was like, oh, there it is. Times are changing. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, that, I knew it was coming. So. No, but like that's pretty gnarly. Like Porsche is doing it now. Like they're entering that market. Like no, electric, the, uh, electric vehicles are that, definitely. Yeah, that was already talked about, but yeah. No, no, right. Totally, totally. But it's like, but but now that you're like branding it out there, Okay, of course it's like, yeah, sure, talked about, but like if you're actively trying to sell this stuff, it's like, what is going to happen to our gas vehicles? You know? Yeah. People are going to make the conscious choice of being like, okay, I don't want to purchase a gas car anymore, you know? Yeah, no, although, no, 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 no. although gas prices are really low right now, so it's very tempting. Yeah, but then you don't want to touch those nozzles, right? Everyone's touching That's that. That's the other thing. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Freaky, man. It's so weird. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. All right. So total projection. Uh, everything will be back to normal. September, fully normal. That's what we're predicting. Possibly. Possibly. And hopefully things will open again in July so we can have a cool summer. Ideally. Yeah. But like, yes. But, you know, yes. tourism countries, they must be having like a really hard time. I was talking to my cousin in the Philippines and he's like, yeah, because, like, no flying, people can't get their income because, like, they rely on tourism, right? Yeah. So if there's no tours, like, those places are just getting worse. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the tourism industry has been hit. It will God, be hit huge. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely it'll be, like, a year or two before people start going on, like, vacations again, I think. Yeah, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna be depleting so, your no, but you're gonna be depleting your um, savings. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Do you think yeah, there's gonna course. be a gigantic hiring boom after this, or no? Um, I think it depends on the company. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like it. it uh, yeah. I don't know. I think so. I think so, but. It depends on how fast we can get back. Yeah, true. But I don't yeah. think it's going to be fast. No, yeah, I agree. Yeah, we'll definitely see ramifications of this for years to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But in the meantime, um, definitely don't check out Tiger King or ti- or check out Tiger King, you know? Depends if you're looking for entertainment that's positive or negative. If you're looking for positive, I'd say don't check it out. But if <laughs> you get entertained by negativity... Check it out, according to Vish. Yeah. Or you get entertained by both. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> or just start it and just be like, you know what, pass. So like you get <laughs> half and half, you know? At least you checked it out a little bit. I mean, I already have Netflix. I don't see the harm in, yeah, even just seeing the first episode. But... Or go watch Wild Wild Country. It's way better. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. Or go HBO. Well, just skip, skip Netflix. Just go HBO. Or, yeah, Disney Plus. Actually, HBO, yeah. What was that thing? We had that um, podcast before we talked about what's the most essential one. And it was uh, HBO was number one. Number two was Disney. Uh, Three was Netflix. And four was Crave. Is Crave Prime? No, no. Crave is HBO. Prime. Yeah. Prime was Crave. Yeah. 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 Prime was. There's some good shows on Prime, though. I liked I've I've never checked out anything on Prime. But yeah. All right, so until next week, um check out zenrealclothingco.com for um Zenreal Radio free playlists if you have Spotify. And actually Spotify's free, so you just you could still check it out. You'll just have to listen to ads intermittently. Mhm. Yep. Or use SG podcast for 20% off select items. Till next week. Are we going to yeah. Any what? preface on what we're gonna do next week? Any idea? Maybe if we uh, get FF seven, we could talk about it. I don't know. Friday's off, so I'll probably play. You're off on Friday. Yeah. Play Ask It Friday. Oh shoot, am I off on Friday? Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Are you off on Monday? Uh, no. Easter Monday? No, it's not a thing, right? All right, cool, cool. All right, short week next week. All right, might get FF seven. What were you saying? You might play it. Yeah, I'll probably play it on Friday. All right, cool, cool. And we can maybe chat about it or something else. All right, till yeah. next week. Take it easy. All right. Peace. Peace. Bye.